got no way. That's what it's about. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, today I'm checking out Sippy Thomas Wallace. I'm listening to the song, I'm a Mighty Tight Woman. Let's get into it. 1929. I found a you, sweet man, falling on my knees. We're doing songs from the 1920s. Everything about this song is hitting different. The lyrics, though, the lyrics could could probably be kind of modern. You know what I mean? I could totally see women modern day, or maybe a few decades ago, singing about being a mighty tight woman. I could do things so amazingly well. It's like, dang, you know where that's taking my head. But since this is the 20s, like, was it really? You know what I mean? Was it really about that, or is that some kind of 20s slang for like I'm a good woman I'm a catch you know what I mean what what did she say she could do I forgot she said she could do something really well but then she said she's a jack of all trades she could do a bunch of things really well what does that mean what does that mean in the like that, that's got to be slang there's no way I'm not I'm not taking this in the gut this is the 20s this is the 20s we're talking about man that that's before like the sexual revolution and all that women weren't singing about their private parts ain't no way ain't no way that's slang for just something about being a good woman. Mighty tight woman, there's nothing there that I fear. I think tight means like airtight. Not like that. You know what I mean? Like tight. Like there's no holes in her game. You know what I'm saying? She's got it together. She's a mighty tight woman. There's nothing she fears because her life is together. It's airtight. There's no holes. You can't poke any holes in her. You know what I mean? There's nothing you can you can't besmirch her name. You can't do anything because she's a mighty tight woman, right? It, it's got to be something like that. What was that bit about married married men? She said you have no business here because if your wife sees you with me, you'll be in tears. Like, what? <laughs> what are we talking about? They didn't call the Roaring Twenties for nothing. She's singing about exactly what you thought the first time. No way. That's what it's about. <laughs> what? <laughs> what on earth? I mean, I've heard about the Roaring Twenties and, and what? Not, I haven't heard about that. 
I haven't heard about that part of the Roaring Twenties, but I guess that goes with partying and all that. You know, like as a kid, you read The Great Gatsby or whatever that book was called. You know, you learn about the Roaring Twenties. I, no, I didn't think think about that though. I'm just a kid reading this. Just a kid reading The Great Gatsby. I don't even remember what was in the book, but that would make sense. It was, what's partying without ending it on a high note? You know, no one parties just to drink and go home. Like everybody wants to do something after the party. But dang, I didn't know. Like, women could do that in the 20s. I thought that was like post-sexual revolution where you had more open sexuality and, and things like that. I just didn't know. I didn't know people were singing about that kind of thing way back then. What? I feel like I got an education today, but that's every day. I'm always getting educated on stream. That's wild. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know.